Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what's going on? You said you were stopping the YouTube stream, but then told everyone on Twitch. Uh, because I'm, I'm ending the YouTube video. I'm, I, I have every draft I record and I upload to YouTube. So I stopped the YouTube recording. I'm not actually leaving the Twitch stream. I'm not ending the stream. I'm not, I'm not done streaming. And Planeswalker. Steam Vents is kind of like a Planeswalker. It's like the, the Planeswalker of lands, right? Three tickets, is that good? Is that better than a Conclave Tribunal? <sighs> Hell if I know. I just finished my Legacy Drudge deck and have now have a spare Storm deck, so anyone want to buy a complete Legacy Storm deck? <laughs> Did you check out... Uh, you should post it on MTG Slick Deals. MTG Sick Deals. Frank, how does it feel to create something and have no control over it? Do you feel like Wishbone in that one episode where he's Dr. Frank... Wishbone? <laughs> oh my god. The Boros deck went 2-1. It was a comical 2-1, and I was really, actually genuinely surprised by it. It's either three tickets or Conclave Tribunal here. I actually don't know. When you do intermediate drafts, and this covers the price of a pack, it's, I'm, I'm just going to take the land. I don't want to be white again is the other thing that I'm thinking. Uh, so... Uh, 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 uh. Um, I also don't want to draft either Celestia or Boros. So Conclave Tribunal just didn't appear, appeal to me. Why not the Challenger? Uh, I think Conclave Tribunal is better than the Challenger. So I would, it's also, it doesn't commit us to uh, White Red, which Boros Challenger does. Like I, I think Challenger is definitely worse than Tribunal by a, by a sizable margin. I like Sabotage. I also like Deadweight here. It's PM. Oh, thank you. I didn't know I, I didn't know I triggered Alexa's time. Med message. I actually like Dark Blade Agent a lot. I'm going to take the Dark Blade Agent. Maybe it can be Grixis. It's been a long time since I've prioritized taking these guys. Oh, Legion Guild Mage. I really don't like this card. I'm not seriously selling it. It's just like, I now have two Legacy decks for some reason because I have no impulse control when it comes to magic. Thankfully, I don't play standard, so I don't have to maintain decks for short duration. That's actually a good point. Like, your Legacy decks are probably good forever now, and you can just stop. Unless you choose to... I actually don't like Discovery Dispersal. I guess it's okay. I almost like Demir Guildgate better. I'm gonna take this. I, I don't actually like it, but I'll play it. Hired Poisoner or Child of the Night? Ryan MTG, happy Chicken Sunday, buddy. Every day is Chicken Sunday. I'll take Hired Poisoner. I, don't, I think that's close. I think that's a close pick. Oh, Sonic Assault for our Grixis deck? Okay. Okay. Oh, Okran Assassin for our Sultai deck? No, probably not. It's probably Child of Night or Hired Poisoner. I'm going to take a Child of Night. I don't think we want that many Poisoners. Oh, I like Burglar Rat. I like Burglar Rat more than most people. I think the uh, card advantage really adds up if you have a couple of these. And yeah, I don't actually care about Invert Invent. I also think Dowser is actually pretty good. You ever put Enhanced Surveillance in Draft Deck? I have not. I just feel like it doesn't do anything. I like my cards doing stuff. Um, hmm. We could actually just be Golgari and take Iron Shell Beetle or Guildgate here. I'm gonna take the beetle. And Guildgate seems nice. Alright, I'll take the Guildgate, sure. And nothing's great here, unfortunately. We could also be Abzan. <laughs> eh. We're not necessarily blue here. I'm 
I could also just take the Undercity Uprising, which I'm not super high on, but... It's actually fine if you want to trade a beetle or a rat for it, so it's okay. I opened a sealed pool with four rats and cast them one after the other on turns three, four, and five. When it gave me a look that could melt steel be Yeah, so like... Oh, man. Yeah, it's just like... It gets to a certain point where like it's really hard to figure out which cards you want to discard. And eventually you discard all of them. And you're playing off the top. And it's actually not that easy. I'll take the locket here in case we are Abzan. Portcullis Vine. I see a lot of people playing Portcullis Vine. I'm never thrilled about it. It's a nice card in the format, though, because it does contribute both to Convoke and to Undergrowth. There's a lot of great overlap in this format. Like, same thing with Iron Shell Beetle and Burglar Rat. Like, both of these uh, contribute to Convoking. You can Convoke both of them. But then you also want them to just go to the graveyard, so... But yeah, we do have a lot of options. We can go Golgari. We can actually... Uh, I think we're definitely green. But we can go either Celestia or Sultai based on... Like, we have Dark Blade Agent for three, which is kind of nice. Another Uprising. I don't definitely don't want two Uprisings, but I, I, I don't think we're actually in bad shape and all here, which is nice. Capture Spirit of Portcullis Vine did not regret. Well... You gotta do what you gotta do. Johnny the Force G, what's up? Tell Australia I said hey. Also, I don't actually hate Utopia Sprawl. Please iron your green screen to remove the wrinkles. Where are we looking? Oh. Oh, Barman? You're out, buddy. You gotta go. I'm gonna open another pack. I also... Those are some ASMR crinkles for you guys. A Bird Illusion and a Celestia Guildgate. Pretty unexciting. And the rare... Is that a Sacred Foundry? Oh, a Sacred Foundry. A Duelums McLandums. I never mind Sacred Foundries. I never mind Duelands, uh, Shocklands as rares. Every day is Chicken Sunday. I think it actually might be Quasi-Duplicate here. This pack is actually pretty weak. But this card's pretty reasonable. The crinkle's so good. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Timed out for one second. One lowly second. Oh, my God. You guys should be... You guys, I should be subscribing to you guys in chat because you guys are all my favorite. Oh, another Conclave. Oh, a Night Veil vale Sprite. Night Veil vale Sprite is amazing. That's my favorite kind of sprite. Also, we passed the Conclave Tribunal in pack one, and here's a Conclave Tribunal in pack two, as well as a Luminous Bonds. Considering it's a quasi-duplicate and we have a Dark Blade Agent with no white cards, I'm pretty sure we're just going to take the Spectre here. Especially if we can get multiple Dark Blade Agents. We might even be green. We're probably green. I don't know. We accept donations in the form of you streaming, so it's a good system. Juposhi, I also still have to do your stipulation, which was speaking in a British accent. Don't think I've forgotten that. It's just in the queue. And it has to be a time where me and Mike are both off and streaming, and I'd like I'd like for you to be here for it, so. I met you in Denver and we talked about deck critiquing my Warp World. Mar oh, that's right! And you were like, do you know what Warp World does? And I was like, do I know what Warp World does?
Got it. I got that email. I'm going to take this Notion Rain, I think. Because there's really nothing else in that pack that's any good. It also triggers this guy. <laughs> also, Surveil and uh, Undergrowth, very good together. Very good together. Because you can surveil your creatures into the graveyard. You guys know how it works. Ooh, Thoughtbound Phantasm. I don't think we're getting late Dark Blade Agents anymore. I think people have finally figured out how good that card is. I think Thoughtbound Phantom is probably better than Severed Strands. Maybe not, though. We have Burglar Rat and Child. But it's, we do have a lot of surveilling so far. Turn 1 Phantasm into turn 2 Night Veil Sprite is pretty good. In the sweet November rain. Ideally, this Guildgate comes back. If the stars align and I'm not here, go ahead and do it. I can catch it. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. I think Whisper Agent is worse than both of these, Joshy boy. This card gets out of hand, and this is just a great removal spell if you have dirtly dudes. Is it the cold November rain? What did I say? The sweetness? No sweetness involved. I want to take the Phantasm. Oh. 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 Oh, that's not exciting. Oh. Oh. I actually like Agent better here. I think it's better for this deck. I think we're going a little hard on the surveilling. I think Deadweight's premium. I'm, don't get me wrong. I think we want Dark Blade Agent for this deck, though. That was a good pack. Yeah, I think when you have Nightfail Sprite, you want to prioritize the uh, Dark Blade Agents. Damn, boy! He's thick! Boy! That's a thick ass boy! It's a surveil Damn. format. I mean, it's. <laughs> oh, two surveil format memes in one second. That's great. Hmm. I like Pilfering Imp. Unmoored Ego is probably not a card I'm going to be playing in this deck. Mephitic Vapors actually kills a lot of the Golgari cards like Burglar Rat, Iron Shell Beetle, Child of Night, Hired But It kills a lot of our creatures, let's put it that way. I'm going to take the Pilfering Imp. I think that's fine. Oh, Notion Rain? Another Notion Rain? And the cold Notion Rain. I'll just take that. This deck's looking good. I'm a fan. Yeah, Unmoored Ego is like less than 10 cents, so... I'm 30 minutes into the YouTube of Tequila Gate 2.0. I had to stop and go buy some tequila. You're like, you know what? I'm getting a hankering for some tequila. Tequila sponsor incoming. All right. I will take a Mephitic Vapors here because I do like having one. I also think Dazzling Lights is reasonably playable now. Huh. We can also play Sonic Assault instead of green. I don't know if that's better, but here's a Guildgate. Like, we have Sonic Assault. We can take out these two and the under, up, under City Uprising, which is... I think that's fine. I'll take the Guildgate in case we do that. I don't think we care about a second Mephitic Vapors. The Vapors. I got the Vapors. I got the Vapors. Not if you're green cards, right? How dare you? How dare you? I like actually Selective Snare. I also like Demir Locket. Selective Snare can bounce a couple guys, though. We'll take that. Ooh, I like a Devious cover-up in my deck. Sure. Dazzling Lights. Oh, and is it? All right. That's good. So, yeah. Not sure... No, oh, definitely Clarion. That's definitely not the pick. Hugh, Hugh, Hugh. I've been sick and the tequila stream inspired me to go out and get hot toddy ingredients. Mike's drinking is helping me live my best life. <laughs> definitely taking the House Guild Mage here. That card's just great. Plague Crafter's also good, but sometimes it's meh. I also don't have many things I want to sacrifice. Uh, I think Guild Mage is significantly good, especially if we can get more things to uh, to surveil. Thank you. RF, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. You are 
my favorite. I don't think this is a Beacon Bolt deck. We don't actually have a ton of instants and sorceries that are going to the graveyard. I think it's actually... We can either take Command of the Storm or we can just stick on color and take a Severed Strands. Which I think is probably better. Severed Strands kills anything. We also have some Burglar Rats or... I guess we don't have that many creatures we want to throw away right now. That's unfortunate. I would I would be convinced to play both of these and the green. If uh, Severed Strands is also on our main color. The other ones are not. Notion Ring number three might be too much for me. Hmm. These packs are not great for us. Cut Undercity? Okay. I don't like it anyway. It's just Pilfering Imp number two. <laughs> I like that Creedence Clearwater Revival song about holding in a poop. How does it go? Do, 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 looking out my back door. Wow. <clears throat> I'm really not a crab fan. It's fine, I guess. Wow, a second mnemonic betrayal. That's something. That is something. Eh, capture sphere is solid removal, actually. We can do that. We can capture sphere here. If this costs two mana, I'd be all about it. Three mana is a bit much because you don't really have much you can play. Oh, God, we're seeing some good Golgari. We saw Fine Broker on the last pack, Okran Assassin here. We could take a Severed Strands. We don't actually have very good red stuff. I think it's actually probably Okran Assassin. Oh, I like a Burglar Rat and a Crawl Harpooner. Burglar Rat's great for the Severed Strands. Where's like no Watchers? And there's also Hypnotizzle. Hip, hip, Hypothesis, not Hypnotizzle. I don't know what I was saying there. Sort by color here. The fact that Mnemonic Patrol allows you to cast creatures. Yeah, I agree with you. I think it's actually fine. Um, but the problem is, like, you really want to cast, like, a four drop or higher. So you need, like, seven mana. And then you get, like, one dude. I feel like I just have to take this. We have a Guild Gate, but that's it. I don't really think we need to be green here. Oh, just Mono Burglar Rats deck is actually pretty good for us. I like Unexplained Disappearance a lot, but... I don't think we need it. I'd rather just have as many burglar rats as I can get my hands on. And the burglar rats. I'll take this creature instead of the other thing. Uh, this is not... Unfortunately, this is not going to be a 3-0 a, a draft for sure. We are missing a lot of playables. I don't think we've seen a good finisher that we necessarily passed either. Like, I feel like everything that we've... Every, we've taken everything that we've had option to take. I would probably say this deck is a pile, only unlike the other piles, this one does not have uh, any of the necessary bombs. Yeah, because we have 19 cards if we take this other green card out. This is pretty brutal. This is not our finest work. None of these cards are any good. We could select Selective Snare, Bounce Three Rats. That's actually pretty gas. <laughs> uh, 
Is this a pile? Yeah, it was a good one. That's uh, that was, it sure was a pile. I really don't want to splash green when we have one Golgari Guildgate to do so. I mean, we have two of these, but what are we splashing for red? One Sonic Assault? Good lord. I'm going to open a pack to make myself feel better, which will undoubtedly make me feel worse, but there's a chance. There's a chance that it'll make me feel better. Cheat enabled. Have a good night, buddy. Glad you were glad glad to see you hang out. Good to good to see you have it thing and the hangout and stuff. Got an Izzet Guildgate and a bird. And the rare. Are you guys ready? An ionize? Okay. I like ionize. Uh, I have no no real incentive to mulligan this draft into another draft. Like, that's just a waste of my money. I mean, I, I have no incentive not to play the rounds and at least try to win through cards like Nightfall Sprite or Thoughtbound Phantasm or Dark Blade Agents. Play a selective snare. Play this. Play locket. All right, this is what we're doing. One red, seven seven, seven fourteen. Probably one less here. So this is eight eight, eight eight one, eight eight three. There's some November rain. All right, this is our deck. We're doing it. We're going to win. Lights does help activate our agent. It also triggers for this guy, but this is a monumentally bad deck. This might be our worst deck ever, which means we'll probably do very, very well. Would you rather we play Mono Red Commander or Mono Red Legacy Cube? Mono Red Legacy Cube 100%. Maybe. Hmm. Huh. Monterey Commander doesn't sound that bad. It doesn't seem like it'd be super aggressive. It'd probably just a bunch of cool red cards. Like Koth and Karn and... Monterey... Maybe Monterey Commander. Actually, I like both of those. I don't like red and standard or modern. Because it's just very linear and unfun for me. But I think there's a lot more nuance in both Commander and in Legacy Cube. So I actually like both of those. I would say I would say Legacy Cube for me because I like that format better. But I don't I don't think I have a problem with playing mono red and commander. God, look how good this hand is. We're basically we already won. Hey, I hope this doesn't jip you <laughs> on YouTube. All right, we're going to keep this hand. There's no way we can lose because our deck is so good. For the next Commander Knight, can I get you to play that Degenerate Gave list? I think? Yeah, probably. I've had a surprising amount of interest in people submitting decks for Commander Knight. Do you ever get around to playing Commander No, not really. I'm not a huge Commander fan. Um, mostly because, and I've gone over this before, but like, um, say hi to Chat Mike. Chat Mike, Dandy Bagel Boy says hi. Um... Mostly because I feel like my decisions don't matter in Commander. And that's one of my biggest appeals of Magic is that, like, uh, it gives me so many decisions to make and everyone could make or break a game. So, um, I put a lot of value on my decisions. So, as a, like, as a skilled player, you like to think that your decision-making is better than your opponent's decision-making, right? Like, you're making better choices than your opponent. And, um... Okay, well, this is a human soldier and this is an elf warrior, so we can't actually bounce both of those. We could play... I 
Pretty sure it mounts the mentor guy. Play this guy. Um. Anyway, you guys think you guys got the point? Um, the problem is like if I do a thing in commander, like six more things are going to happen before my next turn. So it's like it's really hard to prioritize those kind of decisions and to kind of figure out what you need to do because a lot of times like it's just kind of inconsequential. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like there's it's also too much information to like make the correct decision as well. Man, this pilfering up is going the distance. Wow. He's going for speed. What's... Oh, a tutu. Huh? Oh, a tutu. Human, human. Do we just attack with this guy it's a two for one they could just go block even if they block with these two it's fine if they block with these two it's fine oh they have no cards in hand oh this is good for us I uh did not consider that Um, put in the graveyard, put on top. So they can actually go shoot this guy for one, attack for four, which is probably exactly what they're going to do. Yep. He's going the distance. We have a surprising number. Are those answers high quality or in depth? I'm just trying to get an altitude reading here. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, Cake is my favorite band where the singer talks to me. Just this guy, huh? All right. I like it. Did you seriously just top like a siege room? Oh, locks it on restore. We have nothing right now. We have absolutely nothing. I don't care about that. Let's go Child of Night. Keep you tap down. What the shit? Because <laughs> of this guy? Oof. That's a weird land. It's killing a child of night? Sure. This is bad. If they attack with everyone, we can block here and block here, which is not great. I think we're dead. I'm going to go to the next game because this is not a game I feel like 
This is only as a sorcery? Yeah, okay. So we've drawn severed strands. Jesus, this deck is bad. Just doesn't do anything. I will play first. Sand is fine. See, this deck is a pile. However, maybe this Child of Night can really get the job done. We'll just, we'll just win with Child of Night. Elf Warrior, Human Soldier again. Alright, we're just going to do the same thing we did last time, I guess. Two different creature types. I always thought the assassination of Jesse James with the coward Robert Ford was a hell of a name for a movie. I thought it was very long and cumbersome, but I also thought it was a very good name. Now we can bounce that with the snare. Hitting an island would be nice here. Let me take six here. I see. Well then. That is not an island. Well, that is too bad, isn't it? Cyberdrag, have a good afternoon, buddy. I'll see you next time on Dragon Ball Z. Just the 3 4? Sure. We just have no creatures that are this big, which is pretty sad. Also, if we play this guy, we can't block here anymore because it's huge. I guess we can still block the restore. None of this is good. I have to make us all ran here when I go to my way to offer a child a free ice cream or popsicle. It really gets my nerves when they don't accept what I offer them or ask for something. I usually give them something that I'm about to exchange for a new box so I can keep my inventory. I get even more mad when they're asking for some of the most expensive things on the truck. Wow, that is aggressive, Matthew Ari. You'll take what I give you. All right, we're blocking here. Drop whatever it is. Put it down. Oh, another Luminous Bonds. God, we're so good at this game. So three, this could be a 5-5, five, five, right? So we can chump block here. And you get to kill a rat and a agent or or the crab. And that's all you can really do this turn. Matthew, I'm a, little, I'm a little sad you don't give me any free ice cream, buddy. Where's my free ice cream?
Where is my ice cream, Matthew? Do I not really have a second blue? Wow, I thought I had a second blue. All right, well. Surprisingly, we're in this game. I don't understand it, but here we are. Oh, you drew a Pax Favor out of one of your top two cards, eh? That's pretty good. Well, so long, Krabby Boy. If you're in Boston, just let me know, and I'll get you... Oh, nice. I'm in. Not a Pax Favor? Roseman Centaur. Fascinating. Oh, boy. Cast a dispersal. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, we probably should have played this. Oh, got rid of Might of the Masses. Okay. Yeah, we probably could have played that better. Like, if we double blocked here, they could have Might of the Masses. Then we'd force them to bounce it, and then they would have also discarded it. But... Um, yeah, I'm definitely double blocking this guy. Is this real? How do we not have a, another land? How do I not have a, a second blue? He knows of an ancient radiation that haunts this membered constellation. I guess. I guess if you want to attack with everything, that's fine. Uh, they can't decide what to bounce. It bounces the cost the, the card at the highest casting cost. I actually don't want you, Rat. I will keep you. And it's of course it's gonna be two islands. Knew it. I friggin' knew it. I was like, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Island City. Wow. Just mono inspired unicorns dot deck over here. Hmm. 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 Everything gets plus two, plus two, huh? Oh yeah, we're definitely countering that boy. Let's flash in this guy, this guy, selective. Any cards that we want to draw here. Uh, Child of Night is even fine. Yikes. Islands in the stream. That is what we are. Scootin' doo doo doo. So this is gonna be a 3-3 three, three, and this is gonna be a 4. So we can block here. We have to kind of kill this, so we're going to actually surveil, punch you in the graveyard, faux show, and then we'll kill that dude. Because this guy just makes their other guys better. Well, I have no reason to attack with both, that seems pretty greedy. Grab on the big... What are you saying right now? Uh, I definitely don't want five life if it means I can never block this guy again. I'll be dead in two turns. Hmm.
this was better when they had unicorns out. So I guess we're just taking one here. Or taking three going to one and blocking the shield mate if they do that. Okay, no attacks. I like it. Getting real close to cracking this guy. Cleric Soldier. We can bounce both of the soldiers. Hugh, 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 hugh. Yes, but why would I sack my crab just to kill this guy and then taking three every turn? Like, I'd rather sack the one two. Like, I definitely don't want to kill the guy that's literally holding on the fort for us. Here we go. An elf warrior. Elf, elephant, warrior, cleric, soldier. Six different creature types. That's unfortunate. Do we have two Is it lockets in our deck? I actually didn't even know that. If we surveil, we're actually dead. We get one surveil and we don't get a blocker out of it. So we'd have literally no blockers on board and they'd have a 3-4. We'd get two turns. We would have gained two extra life, so we would have went to seven? No, we went to... Yeah, we went to seven. So, like, how many turns do you think we have when they have five power on board? This crab has been keeping us alive. All right, we can do this next turn. But then we don't get any blue we don't get any blue lands off of the cards we Jeez. Double gird for battle, double inspiring unicorn, triple luminous bonds deck. Seems good. Yep. Go to one. Yep. Just use the mana in there. Ironically not dead. <laughs> oh boy. Arctic is so bad. It's comically bad actually we can make them waste their mana by doing it like this I don't even think there's anything we could draw here to be quite honest Go out on my own terms. Got him. Yeah. I actually didn't even realize we had two is it signets in the is it lockets in the deck. Wow, this deck is so bad, dude. I keep watching the commander video watch the stream that is up to you right
you know what? Keep it. Any black source in this hand is fantastic, and we also have a Night Vale Sprite. You know, the Hunger Games would have been more realistic if they had an ice cream truck going through the poor district and you could take an ice cream, but it added your name to the drawing. They should have began the first movie like that? Wow. Yeah, you can have ice cream. But you, uh, you get added to the Hunger Games drawing. Do you consume alcohol? If so, what is your go-to drink? I do not, actually. I'm not a drinker. It's definitely, it's definitely not tequila, if anything. Woo! Oh, I see. You're gonna, you're gonna be like this, huh? <sighs> this unfortunately doesn't do anything for us, so. I'm actually going to keep up uh, Discovery and make sure we can hit a land. Hmm. I don't feel like I'm exaggerating when I say that this might be the worst deck I've ever drafted in this format. This is a sorcery? Well, that's not helping my cause any, is it? Why is this a sor Why is it a sorcery? I feel like it was so. I feel like it's so bad as a sorcery that like, why would it ever be a sorcery? That doesn't even make any sense. Cool. Just fantastic! Wow. All right. Well. Not even attacking here. I feel like it would be customary for me not to say anything for the rest of the stream. Oh dear God. If you want it, you can get it for the rest of your life. I actually had the curb music on the soundboard, but then it got taken off because I was getting demonetized. I'm all out of time, walk yourself bucks, because I do it so much. Yeah, that's okay. I, I appreciate it anyway.
friggin' wish coin crab. I've also drawn more red sources than black sources, and I think I have four red sources in the deck. Jesus. I guess I have five, right? I have one mountain, these two, and then two lockets. One perseverance with a complete pile buck. You know, antelope, cat. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know? This is how we win the game. Kitty cat, kitty cat. What are they feeding you? Kitty cat, kitty cat. You're a kitty cat. Nullhide Ferox. Oh, Rosemane Centario. You got it. So one, two, three, one, two. We can actually do all the things. Play you. Bounce you. And Sonic Assault your boy. Now they're probably going to chump block with the kitty cat. I can't imagine they go to four here. Okay. I guess I was mistaken. Change the channel for an hour or two. Yep. The menu music for Monopoly on the NES. Wow, that's obscure. Oh, no attacks here, huh? Hey, no attacks, huh? Okay, boss. Hey, I play a little Dark Blade Agent, huh? Okay. Oh, has the marshal, huh? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna play my Rosemane Centaur. Okay, sounds good, boss. I got something else I gotta play. I'm gonna play another Utopia, 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 open, open Utopia on my land, huh? Okay. Okay, boss, you got it. Attack it with your boys, huh? Oh. I guess you have a... Oh. I'm very fascinated by the things that are taking place right now. I'm going to assume you have a PAX Convergence or whatever the plus three plus three card is, and I'm just going to get utterly blown out here, but... Yeah. Never, I, I never didn't have it, huh? Hey, it's a pretty good, huh? Oh, I'm going to tap all my guys. Really? But you're dead now. What the hell? <laughs> what? Punt. That is, uh, yeah, that's a punt, all right. This is how we're winning this match, boys. Have you ever seen the interview of the two most Boston Bostonians that found the Boston Red Sox champ? Uh, no. Well, that was pretty amazing. I have no idea what just happened there. I wonder if Mephitic Vape... I wonder if we get the Vapors. Uh, so what did we see? We saw the 1-1 and that was pretty much it. 
I could see switching to green for these Undercity Uprisings. But we don't have nearly enough green fixing. We have one guild gate. We don't have a steam vents or any lockets. God, I hate that we have three burglar rats and they have a null hide ferox. We're gonna go turn two rat and they're gonna go null hide ferox in the most perfect game three ever. Oh, it's okay, guys. We don't have a black mana again, so it's... This hand is actually good if we do get a black mana. Yeah. <laughs> speak of the... Speak of the islands, I guess. Come on, one time. Don't have null hide, Ferox. Give me, an, give me a black mana and no null hides. Couldn't do it, huh? Too much to ask for? I see. Still taking black mana. Still taking applications for black mana. Definitely blocking this guy if he comes at us. Okay, fantastic. Fuck, fant absolutely fantastic. Sure. Swap me, baby, one more time. I'm healing me at night. I still believe, still believe. No oh, sprawl. Oh, thank goodness. Thank, thank the goods. This guy can't block, right? So, no incentive to hold back now. I'll choose this, this guy. I'd be very surprised if we won this somehow. Sure. Tap everything you own for a... God, Burglar Rat's terrifying when they have a Null Hide Ferox in their deck. Alright, they got two cards. I feel like if they had the Ferox in hand, they would have just played it, right? Oh my god, how many humans do you have? I can bounce all your humans. I can bounce all four of your humans. Boy, that's fascinating. How is that real? <laughs> Where did all your creatures go? I guess they could just replay most of them. Three of them. But that's still a turn they gotta take off. <whistles> yep. Look, they all came back. Dark Blade agents for days. I'm just going to play Notion Rain here and try to hit another land. Another swamp specifically. You can go in the graveyard. You can go on the top. And of course it's two lands. Let's get rid of... Let's get rid of this guy's power. I hate that quote because it was not me. 
That was a definitely a thing Mike said. It's definitely not something I said. Wow, and you have the PAX Convergence. That's PAX Favor or whatever. That's pretty good. It's still a two for one, I guess. One and a half for one, maybe. So I have no cards in hand. I guess we can just. I think I guess we can safely play a burglar rat now. Jesus. Oh, then we'll draw four, huh? Well, tap four, draw two. Similar, but different. Oh, I feel like I've quieted down because I just don't feel... I'm not really into this 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 specific deck because it's pretty bad. Oh, what is this? This is fascinating. What do you have here? Just one Pax favor? Righteous blow, sure. Hmm. You ready for the Nullhide Ferox? Okay, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Seems good. So we take one, four, five, six. Sure, go to two. Severed strands. Swamp.
even if we drew separate strands, like we'd kill this guy with this guy, and they'd have three creatures, we'd block one, we'd take two. And crab does not save us. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm not even going to play the third round here. This is going to be a short boy. And I think we actually have one pack left, which is pretty unfortunate. Today was not a good day for drafts. Oh, we have no packs left, so never mind. My, my bad. And 37 event tickets. So Magic Online is one of the funnest games to stream because you are constantly paying money to stream. Uh, might be better if I switch to Arena at some point. I'm not even sure, to be quite honest. But if you're playing like League of Legends or Overwatch or Hearthstone, you're actually not spending a dime when you play. Whereas Magic Online is something else. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Both links are in the description below. You can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. 15% off. Free shipping, free returns. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much.